This Wednesday afternoon, let's start you off with a live look in Waukesha, a swollen Fox River. There some minor flooding already occurring along the Fox River and expected over the next day or so. Current temperature in Waukesha 73 and the dew point at 68. The Waukesha area picking up four or five inches of rainfall this morning. There is that river flood warning for uh, Waukesha in the Fo for the Fox River and then also the river flood. Again, this is Waukesha and then there's the river flood warning for the Fox River stretching from Burlington. Waterford down towards New Munster, basically for Western Racine County and Western Kenosha County. If you are along the banks of the Fox River, you're really going to want to monitor things here the next 24 hours. There are some projections that we will have a record crest along the Fox River from Burlington down towards Salem. Uh, as we head into tomorrow afternoon, we could have some major flooding on our hands along the Fox River. Yes, I know that's an area that always sees flooding, but this could be the worst flooding they have ever seen, at least on record. Storm 4 max radar across southeastern Wisconsin. This is radar estimates as far as the rainfall from this morning, and you see where the heaviest of rain is. So let's zoom in across a radius from eastern Walworth County, southwestern Racine County, uh, portions of Kenosha County. Again, all under uh, all seen over seven inches of rain. Basically this big red blob here. If you're under that, you have seen over seven inches of rainfall and I've seen reports higher than that. Some nine inch reports, 12 inch reports just outside of Burlington. Storm four max radar across southeastern Wisconsin. We have another round of rain moving into the area that has been hardest hit. Now this isn't nearly as bad as this morning, but any rainfall here is not a good thing. You can see a pretty good downpour now pushing through Palmyra that's heading into Walworth County already affecting Burlington and moving into Kenosha County. That's where we have an aerial flood advisory now for this region that was affected by the flash flooding this morning. So the flash flood warning replaced by an aerial flood advisory, a less of an advisory, but nonetheless still lots of flooding going on in that region. Future forecast shows a scattering of showers or storms possible this evening. You can see they're very scattered, very hit and miss, not nearly what we saw last night and into early this morning, possibly a shower storm lingering into tomorrow morning. So additional rainfall, especially with the round that's moving through, maybe another half inch, maybe a little bit more across southeastern Wisconsin, locally higher amounts possible. So again, that's additional on top of uh, what you've already received. And look at some of these totals. I mean, just massive amounts. Now look at Burlington, over 12 inches an amateur report and just west of town, officially at the airport, almost seven inches of rainfall. Uh, um, Pre Pleasant Prairie, 4.66 inches of rain. On top of six inches almost uh, just two days ago. Current temperatures in the 70s. Soon we'll be in the 80s if we see some sunshine. Dew points also in the 60s to around 70. Weather headlines, major flooding. Turn around, don't drown. Again, do not drive into a flooded roadway, hot and humid. Your forecast for today, a high temperature of 88, warm and humid. Chance of storms very scattered from here on out. For tonight, a low temperature, muggy low of 71. Mostly cloudy chance of storms. Seven day forecast brings a slight chance of thunderstorms early tomorrow and again late on Saturday. Besides that, some dry weather. 77 on Friday, beautiful day on Sunday, 78 degrees next week on Monday. We'll be right back.